How's it going? Why am I here? Well, it's a great networking event, obviously, and a film that I participated in called Everybody Dies by the End is you know, being uh, discussed and honored and whatnot. And so, you know, you want to support the San Diego community, you know? How long have you been working on this? How long on, in film general or the film? Uh, film in general. Okay, in general. Um, I've been at it now for about 10, 12 years, well, more like 12 years, actually. Uh, I used to be a musician first, and then um, I had a weird thing happen with my band, and next thing you know, I landed a part, went to the next part, ended up on TV, movies, and just, it escalated from there, so it was kind of cool. So, you don't hear too many films that, uh, you know, uh, put the spoiler right in the title. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> So, Everybody Dies by the End, I mean, it's very clever. I love working with, with Ian and Ryan, you know, I've, I've worked with them in the past. Um, a lot of times, uh, I'll just do cameos with them. They, years ago, they did a, a movie called Baghead where they wrote a specific part for me. It was the best character I've ever come up with. After that, anything they write is so unique, so different from anywhere else. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, you want to know who the next Quentin Tarantino is or, you know, Robert Rodriguez. These guys I met when they were literally like 19, and then about five years later, they come back and they're like, we're ready for you, we wrote a part for you, and I'm like, wow, they advanced so much. And now, they have Everybody Dies by the End, and it is like right up there. It got shown in England, you know, in the UK. They did very well. Um, all in all, without giving anything away, it's really, all I can say is it's, it's definitely unique and creative. Um, it can be kind of gory and whatnot, but I think you're going to be entertained once you get to watch it. I mean, it, it's it's definitely different from things you get out of San Diego. And, and I, I'm glad I met them when they were young because I think they're going to go somewhere as the older they get, you know? So, pretty cool. So, the movie's like a good escape? Um, well, if you're into horror films, <laughs> you know, it's about um, a director making his final film. And the title tells you, everybody dies by the end. Now, is it a movie? Or does he really kill them? You'll need to watch. So, any words for aspiring wannabes out there, young and old? You know, um, yeah, actually, I didn't start acting until age 40, okay? So you can do it at any age. And quite honestly, when you're older, there's less of a pool of actors to draw from, so your, your odds go up, right? Um, you definitely need to put in some effort, you know, learn about the industry, how it all works. And then, and, and basically after that, it's consistency, perseverance, um, and just networking and knowing who's who and who's making movies and get involved, you know? And after that, it's it starts to kind of snowball from there and progress. So if you're on it, you know, nobody comes to you and say, hey, you want to be famous? Hey, do you want to be in my movie? No, you got to go find those people. So take some effort. Thank you. Thank awesome. You so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you for interviewing me. You have a great one.